Oh, Shane, this is crazy. Do you think there's ever been a Shane Dawson video that started out with like, Shane, this is normal. Shane, no, this is totally okay. Also, you're so washed out. Chris, you, your whole job is to make sure that the camera looks good. Mm -mm. This is more washed out than uh, Shane Dawson's underwear that he sold on eBay. Stupid. How? This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Dude, this is bad. Hey, how fucking bad is it, Shane? Oh, I wonder if I can do this. Let's see. Guys, it's finally happening. It's finally happening. You've always wanted to have. You've always wanted it. You've. Okay. Yep. Cool. Oh! Like, this is happening. This is so fucked. Who is that in the back? The following theories are meant for entertainment purposes only. God, that is actually so fucking loud. Jesus. Oh! Baby ear? This is bad! <laughs> These results are not fanciful. No, this is like an old chain intro. Fuck that. Fuck this. This looks bad. Oh my god, I've missed... The hell was that? Huh? They're not imaginary. They are actual and Who was this? Real. What the fuck is I mean Is that a uh, Is that a uh, Is that a uh, George Orwell? Sorry. I'm so sorry. That that was uh that was too far. I'm sorry. Okay. So I've been wanting to do this video for 4 years. No. And every time I started filming it, I would delete the footage and be like, "You know what? This ain't worth it." That's how you know you have a fuck ton of money if you can just delete footage and it's fine. How much fucking money do you have built into your estate? The Shane Dawson estate. Also, I never thought that I would see Drew Monson and Shane Dawson in the same frame, like, ever again. Mainly because it's talking about a lot of companies that could sue me, but I really- No, is this the same shit? Or at least investigate. And I think it could be worth it because I actually think it could help people. And also get me sued. <laughs> Maybe it's not- Shane, I don't think that anything will get you fucking sued. Nothing will get you sued, man. Like, you have done so much insane shit. If you haven't been sued by now, then I think you're in the clear. Worth it. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to say the name of the stores. I'm just going to call them. Okay, well, let's see what the store was, though. Uh, I don't, TJ Maxx? Dude, if this is a video on, like, TJ Maxx and how they resell other clothing, I will literally cut my balls off. I'm just gonna call them discount stores. And if you decide to, you know, figure it out is. the stores I'm talking about, that's on you. I'm just calling it a discount store. So this theory I have- Like Marshalls. I have been wondering about for a long time, and it involves makeup. Okay, so you know when you go- Bitch, mm, I'm about to be so mad. You're telling me that you're doing a fucking conspiracy theory video on TJ Maxx? Bitch, you? Uh, there's a reason why all your conspiracy palettes are in TJ Maxx, though. You're the worst. You're so fucking stupid. What are you talking about? Oh, TJ Maxx is really bad. They were selling my makeup for $5. <gasps> oh, I wonder why. Go to a nice makeup store and you buy an eyeshadow palette or a bottle of foundation or a contour stick. You use it a couple times, you realize you don't like it, so you want to return it. You go back to the nice makeup store and you say, hey, it's not working. The nice makeup it. store? Say, of course, here's your money back. What do you think they do with the used products? What they say they do is they destroy it, right? They keep all of the returned products and at the end of the month, a truck comes, picks them all up and takes them to a big old dumpster fire and destroys them all. That's what they say they do. 
My theory, once again, just a theory, is that they probably don't destroy the Minko. What evidence do you have to back that up? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? As compared to, what, Sephora? Bitch, it's discount makeup. Go to the clearance section of Sephora. I... <laughs> What are you talking about? This is fucking reused footage. Out on millions of dollars, maybe a billion dollars of returned. <gasps> maybe even a billion dollars. I couldn't even imagine that much money. I only made ten million dollars off of my fucking palette. Shut the fuck up. Makeup a year. So what if that returned used makeup is getting sold to a discount store? No. No, I will come out and say that's not true. This, these aisles that you see, this is a fucking target, by the way, or like an altar or something. No, that's not happening. Everything that I've seen, because I actually did a lot of research on this, when I was doing my Michaela Naguera video, I wanted to find her makeup palette because she was being canceled and I wanted to find it because it was supposed to be at Marshall's or TJ Maxx or whatever. Um, and I, I couldn't find it, but there was a lot of other canceled creators who had makeup palettes in the Marshalls and TJ Maxx near me. But these weren't used. That would be such a huge fucking controversy and such a health risk for used makeup to be in these goddamn stores. I hope he gets sued. What the shit? And they put that used returned makeup on yeah, it's the overstock. and sell it for a cheaper price. Now, would this be illegal? 100%. Like, this would be really bad if this is what they did. Because when you're going to a discount store, you're not expecting the products to be in great shape. You're thinking, oh, maybe they're damaged. <gasps> Guys, I'm devastated right now. So is that used or damaged, you dumb bitch? No. Or, you know, it's a color of lipstick that nobody bought. So they all ended up here. But what if it's yeah. used? It like a single eyeshadow for $4, but it looks like it's been attacked. Like, I don't want to think it's true, but it kind of makes sense. Shane saw one video by Rich Lux who found a damaged fucking thing that somebody opened. That's not used. And also, I'll tell you right now, I've done that at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. If there is something that looks damaged, I'll open that bitch up fully and make sure that the product's in there. Like, I don't think, but I, but I don't use it. When you are looking at, like, like, they have cologne and deodorant at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Do you, are those used? Are the, are the clothes used? Interesting. Because I've been in the makeup sections at the discount stores, and that stuff looks really fucked with. <laughs> Maybe just because it's your shit, dude. Don't make that fucking smiley face. It's your makeup. It's your product there. That's why it's all beat up. People are burning it and shit. <laughs> Listen, and no offense, if you buy from discount stores, I get it. But is it safe? Man, what? What are you saying? Is it safe? Yes. They've been doing this for years and years and years. Is it safe? You're the absolute worst. You, oh my God, I can't believe that this is fucking happening right now. The fact that this got released during my little hiatus is so frustrating. So the last video, the last long form video that Shane Dawson did was based on uh, a generic brand food. Is that safe? Is it made poorly? N no, it's 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 not. It's the exact same shit. Um, you no, know, like that is offensive. Is it safe? Just don't wear makeup at all. If that's the case, shut up. I don't know. So that's like the main theory. I want to figure out how to investigate. I definitely investigate want to go what to one of the major discount stores. I want to get a bunch of makeup that looks sealed and closed, right? Like obviously some people might go into one of these stores and touch all the makeup and put it back on the shelf. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for something that looks new and I'm going to take it home, open it all up. 
Dude, if you can find your own makeup, I think that would be so funny. Also, a four pack of Puma underwear. No. You know that shit already smells since it's been in Shane Dawson's house. Let's see if it looks used. Because if they do, that means that they have really loose regulations, really loose. Also, what the fuck do you know about makeup? I'm sorry, you cared about makeup for a year so that you could cash out a fuck ton of money. You do not give a fuck about makeup. You don't wear makeup. You wore it for money. Loose protocols, and they are selling used makeup. I can't imagine they would actually do that, but I do want to test it out because I feel like we should know, right? Okay, so here's part two. <laughs> This is something that I have been nervous to even say in this video so far because this is where we get into lawsuit territory. Okay, so here's the thing. You're so I fucking see stupid. If used makeup, but I have a backup plan to really showcase how they're not following rules and regulations and how they're actually putting people in danger. And I might have done this four years ago. You might have done this four years ago, bitch. You, you did this for a bag. You did this for money. I'm sorry. You did this for a split second so that this could be beneficial to you. What's supposed to happen is, you know, they burn them all or throw them all away, right? But what does happen? And it maybe might have worked four years ago. <gasps> and I, I might have called my lawyer. Who the hell is this? Also, if it worked four years ago and you're doing this now, what? What do you mean? You called your lawyer, lawyer and they probably said, fuck you, no. No, it's a terrible idea. These are huge companies. So basically what I did was, and then I have a bunch of other kind of makeup related theories that I want to play around with that are a little less scary, but still creepy. So I'll get to those. But first I texted somebody who I know, who knows the beauty world more than anybody. Oh, his seasonal friend, Jeffree Star. And who's not afraid to hold back. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> oh my wait, wait, wait. Oh, I love doing this kind of shit because the guy who works on their uh the guy who works on their channel is actually really terrible at this shit. So let's see if we can get any information. Mm, okay. This says does it just say Jeffree Star? Oh well that's annoying. Why are we blurring out Jeffree Star? Unless it says something like Foul. I would love if it said something foul. Good, hi. The timing. <laughs> oh my god, your voice just, I don't know, it just makes me so happy. No, bitch, you are the Grim Reaper. Stop. Oh my god, you make me so happy. Every time I hear your voice, it just makes me so happy. Jeffree Star's voice. It is a is a happy place for you? No. I miss you. I've been talking all week. It's a little raspy. It's Cowboy Jeff's in the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, welcome to the rodeo. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, I forgot that Jeffrey did that. Damn it, Jeff. God damn it, Jeff. That's terrible. Let's go. <laughs> Life is just so crazy and it's always a roller coaster. This year has been so interesting. Stop. Isn't it? Stop. First of all, every person I see out in the world is like, oh my God, I'm going to Jeffree's store and I'm buying meat. And it just makes me so happy. <laughs> you did it, girl. I can't believe we can buy steaks and lip glosses. What? Jeffree's store sells meat and, and lip gloss? No. No, it doesn't. No, please tell me it fucking doesn't. Oh, God. Working. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I have a couple of theories I want to get your thoughts on in the beauty world. <laughs> Uh-oh. When, when have we uncovered? That's what I'm scared of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we actually talked about this a few years ago, and I never posted the video. Oh, investigation V3. We don't need any fucking investigations. This is bullshit. Oh, because I was scared okay. of getting sued, so I'm trying to redo it. <laughs> And leave out names. I remember this. I'm scared. <laughs> so what, what have you been thinking about? Okay, so the theory that when you return makeup, maybe it gets sold to a discount makeup store where people are actually buying used makeup. Is this something that you... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you have a doozy right off the bat. I can confirm 
That is correct. Oh. Okay. Let's uh let's play around with this idea. Maybe that is correct. Maybe it is a it, maybe it is correct that that happens. I don't think that it's used though. Some of these return policies are like you can only return things if they're in new or like not damaged quality, like if it's still sealed. Maybe if it's like a gift receipt uh, kind of vibe where somebody got it for Christmas and then returned it and then got something else. That makes sense. This makes no fucking sense. Oh my God, Skeleton. No. Wait, last time you said you couldn't confirm it. What, what happened? I have visited places and I've seen it happen from other companies. So I feel comfortable being like, absolutely. And I've even seen stores take returns that c customers have taken home doing God knows what and putting it back on the shelves and wiping the fingerprints off. Oh. Oh, I, you know what? That makes sense. I forgot that Jeffree Star worked in a TJ Maxx and a Marshalls. That's fair. That makes sense. Oh my God. So it's like, uh, that's why a lot of the time I like shopping online because I know it came from a warehouse that hasn't been taken and touched and like can potentially- Also because they're fucking lazy. Right. Okay. So, and I'll cut this if you want me to, but a few years ago you said- Oop. <laughs> a few years ago, I've you... a lot of things. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a few years ago, when we talked about this, you said that you and your company, you guys damaged out a bunch of, uh, I think it was expired makeup, not returned, but expired. And it was picked up by a truck and it was supposed to be burned. And you said something happened. Are you okay saying that? Or do you want me to cut this? Yeah, absolutely. This yeah. happened once and we changed all our protocols. Um, we were getting rid of, uh, actually it was expired liquid lipsticks that had gotten weird in our warehouse before we had the full freezers in there. So one shade, and it was like a hot teal, it went bad and it like accelerated the expiration and it was in too hot of an area. We would never have sold those, so we sent them in for destruction, which means they go and they can go in like an incinerator. Mm. The middleman company was taking money under the table and selling off me, Anastasia, and other that sounds like a one-off situation, Jeffrey. Every single place has been doing this. Drugstores, Ulta Beauties, Target, even Walmart. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. This sounds like a one-off thing where somebody had a payday. I'm sorry that somebody else besides you had a payday. Other brands that were going to be destroyed and reselling the bad product, which can make my name look bad, is also really illegal. So we changed all our protocols and now we take things to a different company and we drive it ourselves. Mm -hmm. So you, you said that you like walked in, you don't have to say the store, but you walked in somewhere and you saw it on a shelf, right? Yes. And yeah. Uh, it looks so real. Can we expect to see Jeffree Star at discount stores now? I hope so. If only. Dude, there are people in my chat who have found Jeffree Star cosmetics, like, in TJ Maxx. That makes sense. The fuck are you talking about? Yeah, somebody said, uh, let's scare the masses into not buying cheaper products and make sure to scare them so bad they continue to buy directly from us. That's genuinely what this is. That's, that, that is actually what this is. You just want to buy directly from these people, which is shitty. And the middleman, like, and that store did not know because the middleman was the beauty broker. Mm. And they lied and said they were representing us. Hey, cool fucking truck, dude. I love that stock footage. You think that they have a budget of like $20,000 for just stock footage? Or are they using this unlicensed? Because that would be awesome. Us, and the company did not confirm with us, sadly. So I alerted them. They pulled it immediately, and it was handled. Oh, what could so that store scary. be? Like, what a weird moment of like, how did you get that? Mm. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> how they pulled all the lipsticks? Yes, because they were caught. But if I would have never tweeted or said anything, is that brain from Lil Dicky's Earth? Just kept selling them, selling them all out. Can you fucking believe that? So my question is, how do I investigate this to where I don't get sued? But also like, if I were to go to a discount store, buy a bunch of makeup, sealed makeup, and opened it and saw if it looked used. I mean, do you think that would... <laughs> <laughs> if you buy... Sorry, let's, let's go over this again. Used makeup, sealed makeup, and opened it and saw if it looked used. I mean, do you think that 
if you bought sealed makeup and opened it and it looked like it was used, well, it was sealed in the first place. Jeffrey didn't say that these people were repackaging used products. He said that it was damaged products, so it would still be sealed, but the inside may look bad. <laughs> David Dobrik ass laugh. <laughs> I think that's cool. I think you should. Because it almost feels unsafe, right? That people are going to these. All right. What the fuck? Guys. Cut that shit out. Me after when I keep nut. I, I thought I could be like a funny uh, Twitter post from 2012. Me when I she keep suck nut. Going to these it, it is unsafe, and I don't think it's illegal to talk about. If they're going to do that type of stuff, then they need to know. <laughs> People should know that it's used, or there's a chance Absolutely. that it's used. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much, and hopefully we don't get sued. <laughs> <See you court. laughs> Jeff. Jeff, this is real life. See you in court. Jeffrey, you can't just fucking play around with your life like that. Or maybe you can. <laughs> Okay, you have no idea what we're doing. No. <laughs> okay. Do you guys know what we're doing? I have an idea. We're Shane's minions tonight. Who are you? Who the fuck are you? You don't belong here. <laughs> we're doing his dirty work and we're gonna be exposed. <laughs> oh my god! Ah! Okay. Is this just like fucking abuse? What the fuck? We're <laughs> doing his dirty work and we're gonna be exposed. Oh what the fuck? It's minions time. <laughs> we're doing his dirty work and we're gonna be exposed. And oh my god! Why would you keep in you <laughs> throwing something at your fucking significant other? This is DV, no? Minions time. <laughs> we're doing his dirty work and we're gonna be exposed. And oh my god! That's not funny! I uh, chucked a baseball at my wife's head. Oh my god, it was a prank. Is makeup bad? Are you, are you, are you okay? Me? What's happening? You said minion and then I thought, I didn't know what happened. Oh! He's been talking shit his whole career about minions. Now you guys know what we're gonna do next because I fucking hate them. We're gonna kill some minions. Fuck you, minions! God, that's fucking solid content, dude. And we were watching somebody go to Minion Land the other night on YouTube and he's like, okay, they're kind of cute. <gasps> his whole career, he's been talking shit about minions. No, 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 no. I mean, I don't really care about that. I just love the playful throwing of objects at your significant other's face. Today I'm gonna be waffling a fucking minion. Uh oh, trying to get away. Nope. <laughs> You're gonna die. Okay. I, I forgot how like creepy his old shit used to be. Rylan sounded legit pissed there before they cut it. Yes, literally like mad. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Ryland Adams mad. As I age, I relate to them more. <laughs> also, this is not about exposing me. It's about exposing. Whoa! You okay. didn't say it. I mean, <sighs> discount store. What? Are you ready to go head to head with huge corporations? Personally, no. <laughs> I'm like, wait. I'm sorry. I just saw a little bit. Sorry, I just... When I see Ryland tummy... When I see Ryland tummy, I have to point it out. Tickle, tickle, tickle! Tickle, the tickle, 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 Ryland! Hee-hee-hee-hee! <laughs> God, Ryland and I, we're such jokesters together. <laughs> <laughs> but emotionally, I'm all here for it, like, in a supportive, friend way. Okay, good. Yeah. No. Okay, so first of all, obviously, if you guys don't already know, this is Lizzie, my friend, Ryland's podcast co-host. She's been on our podcast. Oh, thank Christ. Um, okay, so... I'm thank God she's here. <laughs> so here's what we're looking for. We're looking for makeup that looks new, right? Like, yeah. sealed. Sorry, I can barely hear you with how my nose hurts from that banana. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually like a problem. Yeah, I can barely hear you. There was a banana thrown at my skull. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it was hard. Sorry. Okay, we can move on. Do I get dinner out of this? Yeah. Thank God. So dinner. Um, 
Ryland, when's the last fucking time you paid for dinner? We all know who the breadwinner is here. Just more bananas thrown into the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so anything that looks unopened, sealed, technically new. So when we come back here, we're gonna open it up and see if there's any fingerprints or anything going on. They're selling used makeup? It's just a theory. Ugh! Chris, there's a reason you're fucking behind the camera. Don't speak. Ugh. Jeffrey confirmed it. But <gasps> what? <laughs> Wait, but used, like used, used. Like literally used in return. Look at Ryland's face. He's like, bitch, you know that's not fucking true. You know that's not fucking true. Just shut the fuck up, dude. Shut up. I've never loved you. They're selling you. Well, cause uh, we can't confirm. Right. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to say the words. Did I not? <laughs> what, are the rules? what I will say is this is a theory I've had for four years. So oh. that is something that might be happening. Which the reason I want to talk about it is because. This is my face when Shane comes up with a stupid fucking theory. Yeah, sure. Uh, listen, I don't want to get sued, but all major corporations, every single one of them. You didn't hear it from me, but they're all selling products that humans have taken shits in. I'm serious. They are. Every major corporation, there's human feces in everything that you're doing. If you're eating right now, there's shit in your fucking food. Spit it out. I think we should, right? Like, I think if they are selling used makeup at these places, we should know. Customers should know because girls are going there for prom. Like, they're going there for job interviews. They're getting makeup yeah. just for a good deal. But, like, couldn't you get a, a pink eye? You could get a disease. COVID. Well, there's I mean, a reason why. COVID? This is the first fucking time Shane Dawson's ever cared about goddamn COVID in his life. It's not allowed. Yes. Because it's not sanitary. Right. Ugh. Well, let's figure it out. I get so many discount store makeup things as gifts that I use for like the rest of my life. <laughs> or do you return them and not open them? <laughs> I'm not shaking. How many styles have you had in the last year? I have nothing but eye problems. <laughs> oh. There's literally a sty right now. <laughs> I love that. I love that we get we got like a little close up. We got, oh, that's what an eye looks like. This is a drugstore makeup eye. I can't believe it. Now, to this day, I'm lumpy in my eye. Okay, what? so. Lumpy in your eye? Here's part two. <laughs> this is something that I have been nervous to even say in this video so far because this is where we get into lawsuit territory. You've been in lawsuit okay, territory. So here's the thing. I want to see if they're selling used makeup, but I have a backup plan to really showcase how they're not following rules and regulations and how they're actually putting people in danger. This sounds like Shane Dawson when I'm trying to explain why a fucking lanky box video is important to society. <laughs> no, I do have a backup plan and it, it does mean a lot and it, it, it'll make sense. And I might have done this four years ago. So basically what I did was we brought back home the makeup, we looked at it and it definitely looked fucked up. <laughs> Shane, how many fucking times have you done this? That's insane, dude. Yeah, I did this a few years ago and I didn't want to put it out because I didn't get the result that I wanted to, but I'll tell you right now, the makeup was shit. <laughs> but it's hard to, you know, prove that that's actually used. Like maybe somebody came in the store and fucked with it. Like, you, you know, you don't really for sure know. So my thought was, well, what if I fuck with it? And what if I rub it and destroy it, basically? And if I put a little symbol in there, maybe a star or something, like write a little star inside of the box. And what if I return it? If I return it, and if I go back the next day and it's back on the shelf, then technically they are selling used makeup and they're One, I hope that this doesn't work. Um, and I don't like when he goes, you know, but also uh, don't you think like you just talked about the fucking health hazards that this, that could happen and you're like testing it out. Yeah. You, you're just tampering with shit and then pretending like it's fine. You're so fucking stupid. Also go to multiple stores, have a wide array of different stores. See what the actual fucking process is. Are not actually caring about policies, right? Yeah. And it maybe might have worked four years ago. 
And I'm, I might have called my lawyer, <laughs> and my lawyer might have said, well, to avoid getting sued, um, <laughs> you have to find people around the country to do this experiment. Yes. Yes. You need to have, like, an actual fucking database of people. Can I get sued? Yes. Yes, because this is a one-off. As well. So I found five different people in five different states, and I had them do the experiment where they Okay, Mr. Beast. They went in to the discount store. Okay, is that so Jared? We're going in. We're going to get some stuff. Messed it up a little bit. Bought makeup. Fucked it. Hey, Mr. Lawyer, don't you also think that this is... Th okay, this is the equivalent of buying milk, putting something crazy in milk, like poison in milk, and then returning it, and then being like, oh, I wonder if they sell it. What kind of fucking lawyer do you have? This is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Yeah, returned it. Isn't return this a crime? Guys, with the markings. Went back the next day, and they found it on the shelf in all five states. It happened. I can't believe that you guys return makeup and they put it back like next day or two. I can't believe that you returned makeup after fucking with it. Okay, here's... It would still be tampering, but like, there's still a possibility that somebody could have bought the shit that you fucked up. Also, you don't have a lawyer. So yeah, Despresso just said that. You don't have a fucking lawyer. No lawyer would actually make you do that. Um, but like, that's such a wild thing to do in the first place. Like, I mean, as shitty as it is, return it, but don't fucking touch it. Like, I don't know, mark it. Just mark it. Just put a marking on it. You don't have to fucking open that shit. And then COVID hit. And everything shut down. So yeah. I was like, okay, my, um, there, there was a lot of fear. Did this start COVID? Fear about being sued. Uh, because we weren't blurring the names and we were very much calling it out and being like, this is the store that did it. Was shortly oh after you were being threatened to be sued by a different company for something else. For maybe pizza. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, because you also had an unsubstantiated claim against a major corporation that they were ruining people's lives. Fuck you. Everyone got ready to be. After the video was sent to the lawyer, the lawyer said, right now is not the time. And then, but I felt an obligation. I was like, we need to tell people. This. Ugh, that looks like people shit. Gonna get eye infections Feces. They're going to get sick. Like, this is a bad situation, right? Like, this is horrible. Sty, sty. Part of it is at these discount stores. Everything is kind of thrown everywhere, but they keep the nicer stuff locked up. Right. It's like, if it's above $20, they keep it like in a locked up place. And I'm like, that's sad. Basically, any makeup that is $19.99 and above is supposed to be locked up in one of those boxes. It's like you only get safety if you're more expensive. More, buying more expensive shit. Like, that's fucked up. The whole that's what he takes from this? He's on the fucking company's side? You only get safety if you... If you have things... Pr sh shut the fuck up. I don't care about your fucking bottom line or how much your profits are getting eaten into. Shut the fuck up. That's not sad. The whole thing made me really angry, honestly. Because we'll sell you used dirty makeup that can hurt you. Because, like, fuck it. You're not going to buy the more expensive stuff, so who cares about it? That's what I'm upset right now. So when COVID happened, I was like, okay, I don't want to get sued. And COVID's going to change everything, right? Because nobody's going to do this anymore. They're not going to sell used makeup anymore. They're going to have better policies. They're not going to accept returns anymore of used eyeshadow palettes. Like, I felt like COVID would change everything. So that's kind of why I want to test this. Because Do you believe in COVID, Shane? Did you get vaccinated? I would rather get answers to that than this fucking stupid shit. This will do, this will not affect anything at all. I want to see if they did. Right. Yeah, so this could take a dark turn. Or it could have a happy ending. Could be a redemption arc. Yes. For discount what, stores. What if they aren't doing it anymore? What if we're safe? Oh my god. I'm sure. It's gonna be awesome. Here's the thing. Shane would post it either way. If, if this... Uh, wasn't successful, he would post this, and if he was successful, he would have marketed it more. So I'm going to say it didn't work. Fine. It always is. Okay. <laughs> so this theory is about clean beauty. I'm glad that a theater company in Maine is advertising on my shit. 
I'm not gonna go. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Support theater. We need to talk about clean beauty. All right, let's do this. Clean beauty. Oh, that it's all full of shit. <laughs> 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 kind of. Yeah. So you know how clean beauty is taken over? Yeah. Like everything is clean beauty. Yeah. Everyone. Ray Paltrow, Kourtney Kardashian. Every brand has their clean beauty revamp. Like, welcome back. We've changed our formulas to be clean. No preservatives, no chemicals. Everything is clean. Well no chemicals? What? No chemicals. Makeup with no, is that pop? The theory is the reason brands are switching to clean is because they're taking out the preservatives and the makeup is spoiling faster. So people have to buy more. Wait, what? Like they can't use the product quick enough? Let's talk about why clean beauty is BS. Yeah, like because it's clean beauty, there's no preservatives. Preservatives are there for a very good reason. So yep. it goes bad fast. You'll probably get microbial overgrowth unless you have a good God, this is such a fucking yawner. What? It, it's just marketing. Yeah, this makes no sense. This, yeah, somebody said this is something that we found out like two years ago. That's true. System. Because like, do you really think brands give a fuck about being safe? If you then put the contaminated product on your skin, it can cause infections. And if it gets near your eyes, you can go blind. We're against oh, no. chemicals now. Like, yeah, right. We're against preservatives. Bullshit. I don't believe it. Clean Beauty is turning a massive profit, even though it's not making us healthier. And it could potentially be making us less healthy. Wow. How many times did we use the word healthy in that fucking video? Oh, that is wild. Is there like you could just Google it though. Who you are, Shane? Like, does that compromise the experiment? Doesn't everybody know who you are, Shane? You're so iconic and lovable, and I love you so much. I'm not on your payroll at all. Yeah, so that's why my plan is to have you buy the makeup and you return the makeup. <laughs> no, that's a good idea. The most obscure. <laughs> 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 No pressure. <laughs> when I tell you, my heart's already racing. We'll buy a few things, like we'll buy makeup and like a jacket and a pillow, so it's less obvious. We're going on a shopping spree. You, what do you mean, so it's less obvious, Shane? I'm telling you right now, the people at TJ Maxx don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They're like, maybe we do have to get like a cute jacket and a nice pillow and a new comforter and a couple things of makeup so that it's not obvious, but you just want to spend money. Do you need new underwear? <laughs> Chris really does. Okay. Chris needs new underwear? He's been... Why does Chris need new underwear? <laughs> Sorry. Why does Chris need new underwear when he's been spending his free time inside of Ryland's? Okay, so we're at the unnamed store. <laughs> so here's the plan. I think we go in there. We have to be really like not obvious with the camera because four years ago they kicked us out because we had a camera. We'll try. We film on your phone, dummy. Up, get some undies. And then try to film a little bit. Just so we Of course, Ryland. That's the one thing that Ryland remembers. Yeah, we'll get some undies for you. <laughs> Let's see how the makeup station looks. Yeah. But like, don't get kicked out. Okay. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Chris, buy your own fucking underwear. Unless it's a business expense. And this happened, the last time we did this video was right before COVID. And Matt Wild, oh my God, and everything has changed. Well, but that's my question. Has everything changed? Like if I go back to one of these. Shane just said that he wasn't going to go in. Shane's right there with a camera on him. Shane's one of the most recognizable fucking YouTubers in the world. Discount stores. Has everything changed? Are they more no, cleanly? They, no, they're not. They went right back to wanting to profit, and mm. sadly, the world cares about money first before right. safety. You care about money. You're you're the fucking one who cares about money. Shut up. Right. Fuck. Uh oh. If only Jeffrey Star's stuff was here.
Yeah, that's just fucking, like, damaged. Actually. Uh, eh, there's a bunch of, like, shit here. I don't think that's used, though. That's crazy. This is on their sofa. This is on their floor. Look at that. That's not even used. That's just thrown in the trash. Why would they say that? Uh, yeah, 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 that's exactly what I'm talking about. It could just be damaged shit. What are you talking about, dude? Half the stuff was open and like, like that was like that on the show. What? Jaclyn Hill. To say it looks better than four years ago, but maybe not. <laughs> but, but why would that even, how did? Oh my God. Dispressor just said that's the tester. That's absolutely the tester. You're right. That end up on the floor. What? Why does this keep happening? People are touching them, and it's on the floor. Well, is there a price tag on it? Like, are they actually selling that? They should just throw that away. Why would they sell that? Maybe they're not selling it. Bitch, if there was ever a pallet for me. <laughs> no, is People it? People also come in here to destroy, like that's somebody just carving a finger now on it. Right. I I know that. I know that a lot of that people just like open stuff to destroy it. No, I think that people just like open stuff. People are annoying as shit. Come on. But like you can't You're the that. you're also touching it. Go get your panties. <laughs> I mean that one's not that broken. <laughs> but you can't give that to somebody. Get something sealed. Is there nothing sealed? No, you sell it to them. Oh. <laughs> At a discount. Oh. I'm not going to show this brand because it's a fellow YouTuber. <laughs> this is not their fault. But this box is opened and the product is used. Which like... Who is it? Uh, Joey Graceffa? <laughs> Listen, shouldn't they damage it out? Like, why yeah. don't they sell that? Just... Because Shane... Uh, the people who work at TJ Maxx, I'm sorry to say it, are not damage control for the fucking makeup companies. It's like disrespectful to the customers. It's like actually fucked up. We're blaming the minimum wage workers now? It's like disrespectful to the comp the fucking customers. What are you talking about? Are the are the minimum wage workers going to go through and be like, oh, this one seems used. Oh, this one doesn't seem used. Shut the fuck up. What is supposed to happen with returned makeup? What is supposed to happen with it? It's damaged out. You take the loss at the cost that you made it, and you take that L. Like but isn't the cost of makeup like nothing? Like, they made a whole series talking about how cheap it is to make makeup and how easy it is to make money off of it. You can tell if something's never been unsealed, right? But if there's Lakers? I want a Los Angeles Lakers palette. Used, you just damage it out and it goes in the trash and recycle. Right. They have Sephora makeup. I mean, unnamed nice makeup story. <laughs> <laughs> what? I feel bad because... Why are you... Shane, you're just buying... You just opened up these three and they're all damaged. Why would you fucking buy them, dummy? Employees came up and they were so nice. That's why I'm not going to say what the store is because I don't want anybody to get in trouble. It's also not their fault. It's not their fault at all. Well, it's the corporation's fault. Yeah. It's cut. Oh. Okay. Okay. First of all, I feel terrible because everybody's so nice. Like all the employees were nice. They were offering to give me a discount. Yeah, they're fans of you. You just. You just said that you didn't want to buy it because people would know. But then you just got mad at the employee. <laughs> oh my gosh. But here's what I will say in their defense. Way better than four years ago, which I know sounds crazy. But man, this isn't their fault. Shoved up an ass. You... I may, I may be insane, but didn't you just purchase the most damaged stuff? <laughs> 
it. Four years ago, it was so much worse. It was worse? So much worse. I'm talking used beauty blenders put back in a package, like that bad. And Ooh. I am a lot of Show it. stuff that's messed up on the floor. It is stuff that was obviously messed up on the floor. Like right. somebody opened it, they're being a teenager, they're taking a scrape yes. out of it, or they're trying, and it's like, what are they gonna do? But I will say, so right. far, it's looking better. <laughs> So that's a good. It's gotten to the destroy. <laughs> Chris, Chris is actually one of the most fucking annoying people I've seen. What are you talking about, dude? Cut to the destroyed stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shit gets destroyed. If you go to Ulta or Sephora or these fancy places that you're fucking talking about, you're telling me that none of it's damaged? <laughs> well, you've never seen a makeup section at the discount store. What did you think? I've never seen it and I, like... Proof that Chris grew up in a fucking rich family. You've never seen a make <laughs> makeup section at a discount store. Yeah, I've never been to one of these places. They're weird. I don't know much about this, but if I saw that, I'd be horrified. <laughs> <laughs> and they're right. Right. There's not much they could do unless they locked up all the makeup. It's like, what if someone did, like had like a skin disease and they were touching that? You know what I mean? And then you put it on your face. But that's not the only person's fault. That is, is the person who is knowingly having a skin disease and then rubbing shit. That's not a fucking thing. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea to buy makeup at a discount store because of that. Yeah. You can get cheap makeup at Target. Elf makeup for like nothing. All right, so let's go home, investigate, look at it, and then decide if we want to take it to the next level. Ooh, let's take it to the next level. You definitely want to, Shane. Maybe we won't. I don't want anybody in trouble. But they Shut up. knows what the store is, right? I don't want anybody in trouble, but I am going to say that one of the workers here recognized me and then offered me their employee discount. It could be any discount. Could story. be any discount. There's a lot story. of them. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Why is she running? That's what? awful. No living being should ever eat processed food. Uh, what about me? I eat processed food. I had to do a price check that took place through the entire store. What? They were on walkies screaming for a price check on that fucking morphine thing. <laughs> and they wouldn't <laughs> shut the fuck up about how much they. Wait, so what was her purpose in this? I don't... So she went in and... So she... Sorry. Shane went into the store and said, I'm Shane Dawson, and I am filming a video, and I'm picking out all the stuff I'm going to buy, but... I'm going to leave and not purchase it? Like, what the fuck? I love you. <laughs> they were like, I've been watching him since I was seven. I think I scared him out. I think my energy made him uncomfortable because he left without buying anything. Do they know you're with him? No. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank I was God. so cool and so discreet. Like, Shane, then what was your fucking... Who? Who? I was like, Sean Doslin? <laughs> that's funny, that's funny. Anyway? <laughs> that's funny. That Morphe thing. <laughs> Maybe I gotta go right now. Is all this shit returnable? Okay. <laughs> this is my heart throbbing. It does feel like we're committing a crime. I think you are. I actually think you are. Like we're gonna be wrong. We literally just bought makeup. <laughs> <laughs> get, like, we didn't I know, but you're going off. to return it. Yeah, that's wrong. So there's a theory that YSL, which is like a pretty expensive makeup product company, yes. that they are actually made by and the same formula as L'Oreal, which is like a discount one. And this happens all the time. People pay for a name brand. And it works. People fall for it all the fucking time. The product that people are talking about. Yeah, what is it? I'm so curious to see what it is. Okay, so this next theory is about lip gloss. And I know it sounds boring, but let me. Nice Tesla, Shane. How many uh, videos exploiting your little cousin got you that?
explain. There is a lip gloss that is very expensive, that is very bougie, and it's made by YSL. It is called YSL's Rouge Per Glossy Stain. It is $45. Well, there's another lip gloss that looks very, very similar, and that is by L'Oreal. Except the L'Oreal lip gloss is only $1.97. And it doesn't have a logo. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it ranges like some of them are like seven bucks, but one of the colors is only $1.97 at Walmart. Huh. The only reason why I don't believe that is because they are very luxe. So the theory is that these are actually the same product made by the same manufacturer and just put in different packaging. Absolutely it is. And the packaging really isn't that different. I was just looking at a fucking company. I found the company that sourced out Mr. Beast's fucking Feastables and like how I can make my own version of Feastables for nothing. It is like you can legitimately take any company in the world and make it your own because the manufacturers are just open to working with anyone. So I don't. I don't know where he's going with this. Right. Well, this says that, it says L'Oreal owns YSL. They do now? That's what it says. I guess I should look into that more. Maybe you should have just fucking said that in the first place, dumbass. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Google who owns YSL Beauty. So I looked into it, and YSL, which is like very bougie. Yes, yes, yes. Ice cream so good. That's what it's like talking to Jeffree Star on the phone. I, mind you, I never want to talk to Jeffree Star ever in my life. But what? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Like you're in a TikTok live, but it's a fucking FaceTime? No. No, 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 no. It's all. <laughs> Shut the so fuck up. So this could up. actually be true, which would be insane if they're getting away with this. Okay, so I have here both lip glosses. Wow, they look so similar. Okay, hold on. So first I have the YSL. That's the packaging. Next, the L'Oreal. So even just side by side. Guys, I hate to say it. I, I don't think that that's as similar as he thinks. Like, yes, they're made by the same fucking company and they have the same manufacturer, so possibly it could be the same. <laughs> yeah, no shit, dude. But like, that's different compared to that. The, I mean, the lids are different. I thought at first that this right here and that was going to be the exact same and they just replaced the lids, but that's not, or the covers, whatever you fucking call it, but that's not the case. <gasps> It's like the same. No, it's not, problem. dumbass. If this was legit. This would be like the biggest scam of all time. <laughs> like forty-five dollars, one ninety-seven. Okay, so let's swatch these. Okay, so first let's swatch the YSL. Wouldn't you do this in a more scientific way? Like you could actually get the ingredients tested or just check the. Oh my God! Wait, can't you just check the fucking ingredients? Okay, so oh, it's red. It's red. That one's red. Color. No, this one's red. Let me get the L'Oreal one. <gasps> red. They're both red. Wait a minute. Oh no. No. <laughs> oh. That. Oh my God. Okay. There can't be two Just shades right of red. There, they already look the same. Okay. So this is YSL. Okay. And this is L'Oreal. <gasps> Fuck. Two makeup companies cannot um, sell the same shade. I just learned that today. <laughs> I am so, wait, no way. Oh my God. These are literally the same. Did we just crack a fucking conspiracy right now? Is this real? Okay, this is. Wait, 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 hold up. That looked like Damn. dream. Did we just crack a fucking conspiracy right now? Whoa, look at that hair, dude. I wonder if I can. Can I pretend like this hair is mine? Oh no, I'd have to get really like really close to the camera. Fuck. Damn it. Is this real? Okay, this is crazy. I feel like I need to try this on my actual lips. Shane, How breathe out of your nose. Listen, once again, just- I'm gonna give Shane Dawson a challenge. Breathe out of your nose for a video. Theory, I don't want to get sued. Maybe it's just a really good dupe made by the same company that owns the same two products. No, but you just outed yourself. Lips. All right. 
zoom in. I'm gonna do half of my lip with one half with the other. No, so no, Lights not those out. luscious lips that I want to fuck. Next, L'Oreal. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Speaking of styes. What? A dollar! Forty-five dollars! How many times have I said that? I can't get over it. Well, because you're running out of content, bucko. Okay. <laughs> okay. This just got weird. <laughs> Why did it get weird? Because you put on fucking makeup, dumbass? <sighs> what am I doing? Um, this is crazy. Wait, wait, wait. That's the- wait, I'm sorry. This just got weird. Why is that weird? No, I said I got spooked at the jump scare because you were so fucking close up and you're just a terrifying human being. It's not weird that you're wearing makeup. Maybe it's weird that you don't look good in it. You've made $10 million off of it. You should probably, uh, I don't know, look better in it. Crazy. This might be the craziest makeup conspiracy. Yeah, this so is crazy. Once this again, is not crazy. Confirmed, but are you kidding me? Yeah, Shane Dawson's the one who uh, spread a bunch of misinformation about 9-11, and he's the one going, this is crazy, dude. This is the craziest conspiracy I've ever come up with. Whoa, his eyes look insane. L'Oreal, you have some explaining to do. Wow, that actually pisses me off. Okay, I just tried out the L'Oreal YSL thing, and oh my god, they're the fucking same. They're literally the same formula. Like, I can't, you know, confirm it, but... I <laughs> they're literally the same formula. I can't confirm it. I can't confirm it, but, uh... What? Oh my god, hi. So yes, L'Oreal is one of the biggest giants in the industry. I have an inkling that they own several labs around America, and they can just put one of their other brands that they own, which the Rolodex is crazy. Okay, so I want to show you this. Okay, but Jeffrey's confirming it in a different way. Jeffrey's not making this a conspiracy. He's just like, that's business, bitch. Also, tell me why uh, Shane looked like fucking Miranda. Because I know that you hate corporations yeah. and all of their lies. Yeah. Okay, so... What? So I think they just make a base formula, change one little thing, and put $50 more on it. It's such a joke. So this is the $45 one? Test it! They like, bring it to a fucking lab, dumbass! Brands, all different price points. $1 one. Oh my God. And try to hit all different markets. Wow. What's nuts is that they're literally Smoke. capturing the entire spectrum of the market. Like, Yes, they are. It's a it's called a media conglomerate. Uh oh, never heard of that before. Jeffrey's just mad because uh, this lipstick doesn't use the the blood of babies. Like they are like we want the high end customers yeah. and the people that well, want lipstick in a budget. It's genius and such a scam. Well, guess who owns YSL? People fall yeah. for it. L'Oreal. Damn. So if they do be fucking with us out in these streets, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they do, they do. <laughs> what the fuck did she just say? Her and Morgan have the black sense down. Oh my god! They do? That's oh. what I hate the most because it makes me feel stupid! I know! <laughs> well, you may be. This is like, so blatantly like, boom. I think people are gonna be shook. It's not, it, mm. Folks, hey, show. I'm sorry to interrupt the video, I promise. Never in my life did I think that I would see a Shane Dawson, um, I, I, I don't know, this is Shane Dawson as like a telemarketer, this is Shane Dawson if he never had money, this is phenomenal, like this needs to be someone's fucking profile picture, they do be fucking with us out in these streets, are you a gamer, what the fuck are you playing, god damn, Promise we will get right back to this very uh, unsettling. Wait, what was that edit? Promise we will get right back to this very. Uh... Hey, sorry to interrupt the video. I promise we will get right back to this very. Uh... Fuck, that sucked. Unsettling investigation. It takes a turn. Yeah.
It's a lot. But really quick, I just wanted to give some love to our sponsor today, which is Rocket Money. Don't go That's a big company. God damn, get me out of here. They pay well too. I know that he probably got between 20 and 30 for that. Good luck. Uh oh, discount store haul. <laughs> wait, 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 hold up. Did the bag say the store? Guys, guys. <laughs> Good luck. I wonder what fucking store that is. Dumbass. Uh oh, discount store haul. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I mean it's on the bag. Yeah, it's on the bag, dummy. Ooh, who got? Hunger <gasps> weird. Doesn't uh, matter. Oh my god! Did you <laughs> see my favorite thing I got? Taboo list. Yeah, we're returning. I know. <laughs> and it comes with a little ghost. Rylan, this isn't your fucking video. Shut up! Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's start opening this and see if anything looks obviously Damn. used. Well, first I want to start by smelling this. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is pretty sealed. Is it sealed or is it pretty sealed? Ready? Let's see if it's used. <gasps> 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 It's used. It's used. It's used everywhere. It's used. I don't think it fucking is, dude. Shut up. <gasps> Guys. Yeah, it's damaged. Oh. Is that why it's discounted? Oh, that's bad luck. <laughs> I mean, but we didn't, you didn't do it. No, we didn't do it. Okay. Okay. That's someone else's yourself. bad luck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you didn't do it when you poured everything out onto the fucking table. <laughs> that's none of our business. Can I see if it's scented? That's what I'm really concerned about. <laughs> You know, just like smashing his head in that thing. That'd be funny. It's not. Oh. <laughs> well. Um, this looks insane. So this is lipsticks, but look at the box has been taped. No, up. no, we can't have did, damage. Did an do that? Okay, they definitely look a little not great. Uh, uh, there's definitely. It's gonna oh, be a smudge. I see it. It's gonna oh, be yeah. hard to see. There's definitely a little wet smudge, but. A wet smudge? Are we really like, ooh, look at this. Oh boy, there's a wet smudge here. Ooh, I'm gonna make a smudge. That's what he's fucking doing. He's going, ooh, I'm gonna smudge this and then I'll turn it to the camera and it will look like something happened. Dumbass. That's fine. Yeah, I'd wear it. Okay, this was sealed. This is, oh, this one has a, a thing. That's good. And it's taped on. Okay, this one looks. That one looks fucked up. That's terrible. Pretty good. So far, so good. Oh, okay. This one looks good. This is going well. It looks like someone opened it, but I don't think they used it. But no prints. Lizzie, shut up. Okay, that's good. Wow. Passing the vibe check. He, d no. Rylan did not just say that. Passing the vibe check. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so far, these are a lot better than four years ago. Yeah, you made it up, bitch. This is like a powder? Oh. Uh, There's a smudge. Well, put your flash. There's definitely somebody put their finger to that. Oh, yeah. You can see it. Yeah, it was opened. Clear as day. Yeah, I can see it clear as day. It was opened. Wow. Oh. Yikes. That's Yikes. I think it's fully confirmed now. That's not great. That was sealed in it, has it? This one that has like packaging on it and you can see somebody took a big divot out of that one too. Big divot, nice words. Mm -hmm. You dumb fuck. Yeah, lightly touched. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to touch it. <laughs> ah, Lizzie. <laughs> Lizzie makes me chuckle every time. I like it. You can have that one. Thank you. Will you still risk that on your eye? I've already got the lumps. <laughs> Yikes. Rubbed all up in. But I'm. 
Oh my god, Lizzie, you took a page out of Ryland's fucking book. You are saying nothing of fucking like purpose or anything. I'm not gonna blame. No, I don't. I don't think it's the brand's fault. It's somebody at the store. Uh, what is that? Cover girl clean. <gasps> not cover girl. <laughs> Very clean. Oh, sorry. That just looks... Oh, yeah, that is a finger. But, like, was it taped shut? Uh, that definitely has a big old finger in it. <sighs> yeah, that... Me, when I go to my gynecologist appointment... Uh, that definitely has a big old finger in it. Me... <laughs> Me, when I go to my rectal exam. Ooh, uh, that definitely has a big old finger in it. <laughs> Fuck. That's like a Shane joke that he would make, but he didn't because he's fucking stupid and washed up. Yeah, that was sealed. <laughs> this one is really sealed, so this shouldn't be used. It looks like it's still the Sorry, what? <laughs> Ryland. <laughs> the alarm on? <laughs> you think that there's an alarm? What? Sealed, so this shouldn't be. Yeah, it looks like it's still the alarm on. It looks. This is huge. This is actually iconic. It looks like it still has the alarm on? What does that mean? Me, when I'm on the Australian show H2O, and I say my favorite, um, what's my favorite word to say? But it's no. Oh. Nar. Nar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, that's just broken. Yeah. broken. Yeah. That shouldn't be. Which is ironic for how packaged it was. <laughs> <laughs> that should just not be for sale. Uh, oh. Okay. oh my god. It's like a lot of broken. Which like, I mean... I Somebody's saying in the chat, those pallets are fine if you disinfect it. Which people know expecting buying discount and knowing it was open before buying. Interesting. I guess they don't know it's broken. They are. I mean, I feel like we could tell before you even got to it. I do think I should try to return the bread one and see how it goes. You think they'll put that back? I mean, it's worth finding out. I mean, it looks. I mean, they're not going to check them. Looks like they put them back multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> You're so okay. Me when there's a big finger in it. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, so here's my plan because I want to be very sanitary. Okay, that's safe. good. So which palette should we well, mess with and then return? So these were the ones that already had something sort of defective. And then these were the ones that were just flat out broken. Somebody said this is such a non-issue. Absolutely. Dude, this is this does not have to be a video, but uh Shane Dawson got 109,000 likes from from this shit content. Uh, rocket money, there's a lip balm, like, Shane's making so much fucking money, it doesn't matter. So you think this one? I mean, that one already has a fingerprint, okay. so if you made another fingerprint, I feel like it'd be pretty obvious. I'm gonna make it very obviously used, to a point where an employee or somebody there would be like, don't put that on the shelf. Okay. Me, when I try to figure out how girls work. I'll put that on the shelf. Okay. <laughs> oh God, that was disgusting. Maybe try to get like a fingernail dip <laughs> Guys, come on, stop saying that. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Is that crazy enough? It's pretty crazy. It doesn't look that crazy. I mean, that looks like a toddler got to it. <laughs> Shane. What the fuck? Uh, Do you want to like take a pen or like- Oh, that's girl. Cool. Cool. That's good. Yeah. That that's good. girl. That's girl. So you see how fucked up that is? Yeah. <gasps> no. That's terrifying.
Ooh, wrapped around, wrapped around. <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the box inside so that tomorrow we can go back and see if they put it on the shelf. Oh. Oh, sign it. Shane should have signed it. Wouldn't that be funny? Uh, Shane Dawson was here. <laughs> Star, yeah, I see the star, Jeffrey Star. Okay. Wait, 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 yeah, I just got the shippers. Are we just doing the one palette, or are we gonna like combine it with one that was broken? Do we even need to mark the broken one? No. If they put that back on the shelf, that's insane. But wouldn't it make sense to mark it still? I don't know. I mean, for the sake of the experiment, though, I do feel like you should mark it. So without a doubt, there's no way that they can say. Yes, thank you, you Lizzie, know. for being the voice of reason so with your uh, Terra's World black scent. I mean, if they accepted this, <laughs> that would be crazy. Well, they might. The returning process, you're like, this one was busted when I got home. Okay, so I'm gonna mark inside of this. You know how serial killers m sometimes will mark bodies, you know, to like leave a signature? I think that's what Shane's doing, but on um, something more important than dead bodies. Yeah. Okay. And then should you return something that's not makeup related so it's not so... Socks. No, we're trying to... Are you sure? Yes, I'm totally sure. No, I don't need my socks, I promise. Anything for a video. <gasps> Kiss me, Ryland. Oh, I think it can cut down first. Ah! That poor thing. Lizzie's returning it? Yeah. This would be crazy if they put it back on the shelf, right? I'm not making that up. No, it would be wild. Like, absolutely insane. You fucked that palette up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, my last question. There's a theory that... Okay, I... Man. Get into the fucking video, though. It has been so long. This should have been a five-minute fucking video. You just jump cut into cutting yourself off? I have here a mirror. I have some makeup. I have my eyelash curlers. Girls, prepare yourselves, because this next theory involves mascara. No, we're not going to be talking about mascara gate, which I just hope that aliens invade the planet one day, and then they're like going through history, and they're like, okay, mascara gate. Why did humans care so much? Because Michaela Nogueira is my favorite. And then hopefully aliens, they all start talking like this. One second. Sorry, just one second. Start talking like this! Start talking like this! Start talking like this! Shane, if we've learned anything, your comedy career's over. All my members, you better spam Michaela Naguera in the chat right now. You better. Come on. Become a member right now to spam fucking Michaela stickers. Start talking like this! Shut up. Oh my god, I keep running over my fucking earbuds. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh god, ow. Oh. Oh my god, I'm actually like really stuck. Shit. Oh god. Okay. Uh. Oh no. Uh. Okay. Well, I gotta fucking make sure that that doesn't keep happening. Oh, uh, yeah, thanks for spamming. Thanks for spamming. God, these are dirty as shit. All right. Uh, yeah, iconic. Okay, so the theory is that makeup companies actually make their sample size of mascara way better and way more powerful. That way, you get excited and you're like, I have to buy the full size. And when you buy the full size, you're like, wait, this isn't as good. It's how they hook you. Do you think that <laughs> makeup brands it's how they hook you. their samples to make people think they're better than they are? Whoa, I've never been asked that before. That's so interesting. Is it okay. in a tighter little thing and the formula's thicker? 
but it really shouldn't matter if it's the same formula and brush. Is it a different formula and they're tricking people? <gasps> oh my God, I think they are. I think yeah. they are. Now I will say this could be true because like, have you ever had a sample at Costco? I no. don't know why I asked that. I know the answer, of course. We've all done what? a sample Sunday. You know what I'm talking about. But you know no, I haven't. I haven't had a sample at Costco. I have lots of dietary restrictions. Thank you very much. But also, hmm. Hmm. Thank you to the two people who just became sisters so that they can spam Michaela Naguera's in the chat, baby. You know when you eat the sample and then you buy the full version, you're like, wait a minute, this is not as good. Or even a movie trailer. You watch a movie trailer and you're like, wow, this looks amazing. And then you go see the movie and you're like, this sucks. So maybe this is true. So you I want to get like samples and then the real thing and see if it's different. Uh yeah, take it to a lab. Oh, wait, you won't. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs> well, I got... I haven't opened them yet. Was that a knife? <laughs> Shane, that's a knife. And then the real thing and see if it's different. Oh. <laughs> that's a knife, though. <laughs> well, I got... I haven't opened them yet, but I got, because this is the one that everybody was talking about the most. I got a sample of Better Than Sex mascara. Okay. And I got the full size. And we're gonna see if they perform the same. There's nothing better than sex. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Listen, to everybody out there, I would like to just uh, spread some awareness. There's nothing better than sex. All right. There's this this makeup brand. They say better than sex. They're nothing better than sex, especially if you're Shane Dawson and there's a cat involved. So online, there's a bunch of reddits about it, and they're saying that the sample of this is actually way better. And when you buy the full size, it doesn't work as well. I used to thoroughly enjoy that mascara when I was doing reviews on YouTube all the time. Huh. So you're going to come over and try it? Yeah. <laughs> Hopping on a plane now. <laughs> Save me some meat. Now I know what you're thinking. Save me some meat. You're not a makeup artist. How are you going to know? I do have the biggest lashes in the game, and they are natural. Just take a look. I mean, look. What the fuck, Shane? I bet you I have longer lashes than Shane Dawson. Shane Dawson probably got those things like implanted on his face. Look at those fucking big old long daddies. Like why did God give dirty gross men such good eyelashes? Okay, so on this side, I'm gonna use the sample side. God, that is terrifying. Look at the close up of Shane Dawson's eye. Oh boy. And then on the other side, I'm gonna use the full size. Don't worry, I'm gonna curve. No, 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 no. I don't like the close-ups of your fucking mouth. Let's not do that anymore. Curl up. Here we go. I hate that. I really hate oh. eyelash curlers. So let's start with that. Shit really size. scares me. Oh my god, matching my sweatshirt. Wasn't trying to do that. It's hard being an aesthetic guru. Oh! <laughs> I hate that shit. Anything I sucks. Okay, so far so good. Okay, it looks very thick. Should I do the bottom? Is that too much? Okay, so that's the sample side. Oh! <laughs> that looks bad. <laughs> I don't think I should have done the bottom. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh God. Okay, well, we're just gonna go with it. Now we're gonna do the full size. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, I know uh -huh. I'm reading into this. But it seems less thick, right? Or am I just wanting to see that? It doesn't look bad. Whoa, wait a minute. Sample size? You just did it differently. You did it differently, I'm sorry. Normal size. Okay, let me do a few more coats. Like, let's be honest. Like, let's be thorough. Yeah. I guess we have to do the bottom too. Oof. Oh my god, I hate eye stuff, especially Shane's. Sample. You just did it differently, though. Literally the most disturbing eyes I've ever seen. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. I don't know. I kind of feel like this side is thicker. Like it's more volume. Hold on. I should swatch. Oh my god. Now it looks like an apology. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, you need more apology videos. The shit that you're doing and getting away with, we need more apology videos, please. <laughs> oh my god, I got the hoodie on. Oh, this is bad. Oh my god, but it's pink. It should be gray. Oh my god, it's like an Easter apology.
that, that, that. Chris needs to be fired. <laughs> okay, this is stupid. <laughs> There's so many factors, right? But I will say, the sample size looks thicker to me, right? It just does. I'm not gonna confirm this one. I'm gonna let you guys decide, but okay, hold on. Yeah, see. there's no difference. It's just one side has more product. Can you come up here really fast, just for a second? Why? To help me? Where does Shane get his, like, fucking royalty-free music from? Because, look, I have this, like, uh stream deck thing that I need to start putting like sounds on in different backgrounds if anybody knows is this like epidemic sound because I gotta get a subscription and not use Shane Dawson's code wait that was actually really telling to help me oh oh I have to do something. Oh. <laughs> okay, I need your thoughts. Okay. Which eye do you think has thicker mascara? Okay, well, if Ryland has two working eyes, <laughs> I think it's going to be the sample size. Mm, oh, shoot. This side. Oh my god. What? That's a sample size. Really? I think I just cracked a conspiracy. Well, yeah, they want to kit those cells, mama. It's they want to kit those cells? Sorry, what? Really? I think I just cracked a conspiracy. Well, yeah, they want to kit those cells, mama. They want to kit those Sells, mama? No, thank you. I know that he's saying get those sales, but can't even speak. Is that oh. illegal, though? I mean, I know it's shady, but is it illegal? I know it's shady, but I mean, is it illegal? Ryland is so happy to be on camera. Once Ryland found out that this was for a video, he got so excited. But like on the FaceTime call, he goes, Ugh, I have to help you with what? Camera's on, lights are on. <gasps> mama? I don't... Really? What? Flushing the toilet? I had to pee. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this one undetermined. Really? You guys know my thoughts. Wait, what? Toilet? I had Really? Oh my god, that's like a fucking sitcom. That was awesome. I uh... don't Guys, we're almost done. Congratulations. What? Flushing the toilet? Was he supposed to okay. just take well, a shit and leave, leave it, bitch? One undetermined, but you guys know my thoughts. I mean, I think it's a fact. <laughs> no! I'm Shut up. Sued? Allegedly, not a fact. No, allegedly it's a fact. Based on our research. Are you going to take that off before we go somewhere? <laughs> the judgment. Well, no. I'm this is me. Okay. Wow. Where are you going? Where do you, like, have your outings in Colorado? Could I join? It's crazy those aren't falsies. You have like the world's best eyelashes. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. That's all I have. <laughs> what if they do what? <laughs> what if they open it in front of me and they go- What the hell was that noise? Was that a Lizzie squeal? That's all I have. <laughs> what if they- <laughs> Sounds like a fucking creaky door opening. Do what? <laughs> what if they open it in front of me and they go, what did you do to well, this? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, that's why I'm returning. Oh my god. So nervous. You are. You're not going in. I'm gonna. Pray oh my god! For they you. see our truck. We gotta go. Oh my god! Wait, don't. We gotta go. No, oh my god! Okay. Who sees your truck? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Do they really? Yeah, let's go. Fuck me, man. Go. Right. Okay, Rylan, drive away. What? Except that. What do you mean they see your truck? I mean, I don't think they have it. I mean, if they put it on the shelf, that's crazy. If they accept it, I feel like that's part of their policy. Right. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Why wow, you're not there? Wait, here, roll down. Oh my God, she's burning. No, I feel like that was a success. What happened? Oh no. 
Yeah, yeah, it, yeah guys, it's fine. Her. It's fine. Okay, they took it. Oh no! Without any questions? I just said my husband doesn't want these socks. I recorded the conversation. They were also trying to learn Portuguese. <laughs> what? Yeah, it was a whole <laughs> fucking thing. Word. Yeah, Shane hates that. Any, uh, any language that isn't American. Here's the receipt. Do you have- Okay, so I guess we are gonna come back here tomorrow morning when they open, and if they are on the shelf, then, we're then nothing has changed. He, first of all, he thinks that TJ Maxx and Marshalls, like, are, are that fast? They've got other shit going on. You think they put returns back same day? God damn. Cream our pants. Then we're going Cream our pants. Cream our pants. Cream our pants. I don't want to cream our pants. Also, our pants? Are you talking about like our pants as in you and Chris? Because you guys are definitely creaming your pants. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wait. Wait, Chris. I'm going to take this off the screen. Hold up. There's a fucking package in the back seat with a label shown. What the fuck? Shane, hire somebody better. Dumbass. Cute dogs, though. Poor things. Victims. You know, whenever I see Shane around an animal, um, I don't think of them as animals. I think of them as victims. Oh, hi. Hi. Good morning. How did you sleep? We sold uh, that shirt at PacSun when I worked there. Slept better. The demons. Yeah. Did you There's so many. Um, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what I'm hoping for. Like, obviously, for entertainment value, it would be fun if they put the makeup back on the shelf. Although that would be insane and like a problem. <laughs> She's like, I'm so excited. I really hope that these poor brokies um, buy damaged stuff. It would be fun, but I'm hoping that it's not there. I'm hoping I get there and I see it in the trash. Do you think it will be in the trash? Mm -mm. What do you mean you'll see it in the trash? <laughs> no. Um, Check their dumpy dumpsters. Dumpy is short what for does dumpster. It mean if it's there, like, how, is that legal? Can they do that? <laughs> it means that in the last four years since the worldwide pandemic, um, <laughs> nothing's changed, and corporations don't care about our health. They only care about the bottom line, which is money. Shane, Shaney baby, Shane. You cannot, as one of the top earning YouTubers, at one point, he was, you can't say that. You cannot speak on behalf of us, you know, for you to be like, yeah, corporations only care about their bottom line and the dollars that they're making. You faked having an interest for makeup so that your bottom line could be fucking better. So that would actually be a really bad thing. And then I might need to uncensor the name of the place we're going to because we should probably expose them, right? Yeah. Uh, or no, we're not getting sued. <laughs> or we already know. Or you did a bad job. God, I haven't exposed a corporation in years. <laughs> Shut up. I'm getting excited. <laughs> You're up next, McDonald's. Shane goes, Ah, oh, this is actually awesome. I love that Shane goes, yeah, like this generic brand food is really weird and bad for you. I think that when you put back fucking shit on the shelves and, and shop at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, it's really bad. Also, I'm going to eat at McDonald's because I care about what goes into my body. What the fuck are you talking about? That's actually so obnoxious, though. What do you mean? This guy's like... <laughs> You can't be this, like, savior who's like, yeah, everything that's accessible to people who have less money is bad. But also, I love McDonald's. 
kidding. Oh my god. Alright, let's go. All right. Um, by the way, this is a full face of discount store makeup. <laughs> you used it? Yeah, I did. How is it? I mean, it's not bad. Does the bronzer match my skin tone? That's my main concern. I think you look pretty good. Thank you. And Sorry, I have to... I want to see what Shane Dawson's driveway looks like. Hmm, nice long driveway. I'm just trying to convince myself it's not full of semen and gonna give me pink eye. <laughs> full of semen? Maybe since Shane was, right. you know, had a stab at it. Are you actually nervous? Because I don't want drama. Like, I don't, but I do think it's important to expose this if they're still doing this. Yeah. Because the amount of women I saw last night, like, getting makeup from there, it's a, it was a lot. It was like I was a Ulta. Oh my god, <laughs> too many like, women. Do, do they know there's shit in this? <laughs> like, do they know? Because the amount of now they I do. Take it home, use it, return it. It's, it's like Sisterhood of the Traveling Palettes. Shut up. <laughs> Which is like kind of nice. Yeah, actually, it's kind of beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. thing. Like, hi, Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh my god. <laughs> There's no semen. There might be human shit, though. I promise Damn. you that. It's popping on a Tuesday morning it's at this. It's so busy. It's Tuesday at 11 a.m. What if somebody bought it already? Oh my god, that would be horrible. Is there going to be like a line to get in? Isn't I thought it opened at 11 a.m. Oh, you're just going to have to drop me off at the front door. Wow. Oh, Do you have bubble guts? Yes, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, sweetie. Have a good day at school. Okay. Why is Shane going in now? Shouldn't... Lizzie or somebody shouldn't Ryland go in? Ryland is res less recognizable than uh, Farquad or whatever Rumple Stiltskin over here. Later, we'll be watching. Shane just wants to be recognized. Um, I got my semen bronzer all over the inside of the car, trying to find some good light for a selfie. I'd be wow, so pissed. <laughs> I'd be so fucking mad. That looks like the Shane Dawson video um, where like he had to like, he like shit himself and was like running on Hollywood Boulevard. <whistles> Me when I see Shane Dawson in public. Okay. So what happened? Oh my God, I'm so nervous. Okay, so. What? I found. The same palette, but I don't know if it's the one. Okay. Because there's multiple of them. I have like a bunch of overstock of that. So I don't know if this is the one, but I bought it anyways. <laughs> the blur is becoming less and less. I'm like nervous. Okay. I'm dying for this. That's, that is a real life person reacting to YouTube uh, drama in real life. Look at that. She doesn't give a fuck. I'm like nervous. I'm like nervous. Oh, okay. why? I'm dying for this. What do I do? If this, company. <laughs> if this is real, if they're doing this still, this is like a problem. Like this. Yeah, is this funny. is crazy, crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So here's. No. No. Okay. And I no a star inside. No, it can't be. This is the big fucking reveal. I'm gonna freak out. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> You're making me nervous. Okay. Ready? We'll live react together. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Ready? Uh, uh, I'm just gonna rip it. Uh oh. Okay. You gotta see it together. Two, Oop. three. <gasps> my god. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> you should return it now. You should return it again. We can see uh, how many times we can milk content out of this. No! 
I'm dying. There's oh. cum all over my face. Shut up. God. So they actually didn't open the pallet because it's disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. Oh I'm gonna God. cream. Is I'm creaming my pants. Yeah. Oh my God. I know, but open the pallet. Let's just. As sure Ryland said, I'm creaming my pants. Oh. 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 Oh my god, I just discovered a new thing. I'm going to be a bigger millionaire now. I'm gonna sue this company. Oh my god. Okay, this is too much. Okay. Guys, I used all that makeup. <laughs> I used all that makeup. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy, Chris. Ow. You're so right, Chris. This is bad. This, this is, is really bad. bad. This is bad. Oh. This is bad. Oh! Like, I used a glove when I fucked it up. Yeah, I yeah. I was trying to be, like, cautious, but... Most people don't use gloves. They do whatever the fuck they want. I could have literally licked it or sh or shit on it or something. Here's the other thing. Um, Shane, these were fans. Maybe they wanted to uh, make sure that you had a positive video experience. Shoved it in my ass. I could have done anything to it and they put it back. Did they put the broken one back? Okay, well, I was waiting because I was like, well, if this doesn't work, I have a backup reveal for you guys because, yes. Oh, interesting. Somebody made a good point in the in the chat they said they never showed the receipt showing that they actually returned that one it's a good point no there's no proof back the broken one no okay this is actually a problem this is out of control Star. no no you couldn't even like write this shit that look at i mean look at the no no, no. before you even open it there's makeup all look over how it. disgusting it is that should not be sold on a floor anywhere i know but don't you like <laughs> These people aren't going to look through it. Like, what the fuck? They're not going to look through every single thing. I'm like shaking. Like, I can understand. I'm shaking. Well, here's the thing. I can understand an employee not opening this because it's like looks as though it's sealed. That could be a mistake. Sealed? I feel like that just shows that the company doesn't care. They don't it's... care. And... The company? What do you mean the company? You're saying that TJ Maxx doesn't care. You don't know what the TJ Maxx guidelines are. This is one store though. This is one store out of fucking thousands. There's no way that you can actually pretend like this is a problem. Listen, I, okay, once again, I'm not blaming the employees, right? Like they- But you are. They're doing what they're told. They're doing their jobs. I bet that there's no policy in place. Like I bet corporate doesn't give a flying fuck about the customers, about the health, about skin. They don't give a fuck. They're like, yeah, return Put them all back. Put them all back. Put them back before you leave for your shift because we need to make more money. Who cares? Shane, I like, I don't know if that's the case. This shit. And the fact that this happened in Colorado and four years ago, it happened in California, Nevada, like literally five other places. Like this is happening. This is wrong. This is so fucked. Ryland, when uh, he realizes he's, he's uh, going to get a, a new fucking big paycheck oh my god wait shane since we're married now isn't half of this money mine <laughs> that's genuinely what he thinks i'm like googling right now what's the actual procedure for return to makeup you know like what are they supposed to do yeah like look up specifically this store which now i guess we'll just say Oh, we're I mean, saying it? I don't know. I don't think that's I don't know. <laughs> I mean, just don't buy makeup at places like this. If that's what they're going to do, you just bring awareness. You know well, what no. you're getting into. I think it's fine if they're selling overstock makeup. If they're selling overstock from a company, you know, that's fine. But if they're selling expired, which Jeffrey confirmed, if they're selling used, if they're letting you take it home, use it for prom, fucking bring it back, somebody else uses it, gets pink eye, like, they should not be doing that. Oh my god. And then I found out that there was a mass shooting in my area and I had to lock down for a few hours. So uh, yeah, I didn't finish this video, but I appreciate you all. Bye.